So I'm just uh, continuing on the Bridge 327 uh, three-cylinder radial here, making the uh, mounts for the magnetos. I'm, uh, you know, you get the one magneto goes up here in the normal spot on the cylinder. This uh, cylinder number one, the top cylinder, uh, the only one with a flywheel, of course. So uh, I'm going with three magnetos on this. So uh, uh, making the mounts here. Uh, Got uh, this one here already made, so this uh, magnetron here will bolt on there like that. And uh, then I'm uh, machining the uh, the other ones here. Well, making them, not really machining, but anyway. Uh, so uh, have a half inch uh, aluminum uh, dowel there and uh, cut it in a chop saw to length. And uh, but then uh, the ends uh, weren't uh, square, so. Uh, you know, when you have two of these uh, on there, you need uh, you need them to be square. So I remembered uh, the idea of uh, using uh, Lee's lathe. A friend of mine named Lee, back uh, numerous years ago, uh, he friend and mentor, should I say, uh, he used to chuck up a three eighths or half inch drill on a vise like this and chuck up what he needed, turn down, and uh, he'd file it, and he'd make all kinds of fancy bolts and different things that way. So. Uh, I've uh, reinvented it here on my drill press. So I chucked up um, the uh, one uh, aluminum stub like that in there and then uh, I turn it on and uh, I have the, the see there the, it's fairly close. You don't want to jam your file but I'm, I'm remember I'm only uh, making the end flat uh, on this so uh, I just uh, turn it on there and have it against the, the far end against the tool post there so it can't rotate and then just go up against it like that take it easy and move it around a bit it will um, it will machine them uh, uh, kind of flat on the end there and make them uh, square and true um, a lot better than a hacksaw or just filing will anyways so uh, so this is my version of Lee's lathe there I don't uh, use it much. It can uh, wear the bearings in your uh, drill press out since they're designed to be pushed on, not uh, pushed to the side. But uh, anyway, uh, also just wanted to uh, fill you in there on the uh, uh, progress on the uh, three cylinder Briggs. So, uh, say I got the one uh, second coil mount there, the original one stock on the block. So, so now I'm just working on this. Uh, third one here so that'll uh, that'll finish off the uh, magneto mounts for me and then I gotta make a cooling cover and intake manifold and finish the crankshafts off and all that fun stuff so anyway um, just continuing on here everybody uh, have a good one well I have the uh, three coils uh, mounted on the engine there or magnetos whatever you want to call them so I have the uh, these bottom two here, cylinder number two and three, they're uh, magnetrons, uh, electronic ignition there from Briggs, and uh, I got them grounded out, and I just installed the uh, the top one here. I'm gonna watch this thing because the heavy flywheel wants to fall off the workbench, but uh, the, I'm running uh, breaker points on the uh, number one cylinder. I think it'll make it easier to start. Uh, I can't believe how slow speed this will fire at. I'll show you here. It's, spark it's sparking, going that fast. I'll show you here, rev her up. But just by going really slow, I watch it don't catch the camera thing in it there. That's when it's going that fast. And it fires both directions. See, it's going backwards. It's one thing about points, they'll fire both directions, but uh, electronic won't. It'll only fire uh, going the regular direction of rotation. But anyway, just wanted to make a, another video there on the uh, finished ignition system for the Briggs 327. Thank mm -hmm. you.